this place person came some English. We were like sponges about history. I learned about Israel. I sang songs. But still, when you come, I came to Montreal, there was no welcoming committee. There was a school on, called Wellington in NDG. And I went into grade seven. My aunt registered me. And let me tell you, I'll always remember them. When I read for the very first time an English book, you can't understand the joy. The whole class stood up and applauded. When I go to Montreal to visit, I always say thank you to that, to that school. And I have to tell you again about my mother. There's a very big Jewish general hospital in Montreal. It takes up four blocks. And my mother went in there and said, she's a nurse. And they told her, where are your papers? And she said, you know, everything was taken away. They wanted my mother to be a nurse's aide. <laughs> my mother a nurse's aide. My mother showed, showed them. My mother at the age of 36 and a half, that was 49, went to school with all the young girls to nursing school from the beginning. Nowadays, if you're 80, and if you are in school, they even give you a party. In 49, nobody gave her a party. But she persevered. And let me tell you, I think being liberated and getting that RN on her uniform is nearly equal. She was, you restored her will to live. And for 25 years, my mother, the greenie, was a nurse pediatrics on the fifth floor from 1952 to 1977. And let me tell you, if you speak to somebody who was an intern there, if they didn't come up right away, um, they got it. My mother was a nurse's nurse. And then she met a very nice gentleman who was never married before, also an intellectual. He was a teacher. He was an artist. He used to go to the Laurentians. He was an artist. And she married. She got married. And he was a very nice man. I loved him. And I went to school, as I said, in accounting, accounting. And then, as the bus one knows about it, but bus two doesn't know. I married a very nice man. Very nice. <laughs> and I had four children, three sons and a daughter. And then things were shaking up in, in Montreal. Pierre Laporte was killed. Pierre Elliott Trudeau, the Prime Minister, sent out finish, finish. Okay, in a minute sent out the army on the streets of Montreal. And can you imagine a survivor's feeling to seeing the army on the streets of Montreal? We moved to Toronto, to took year to decide. <laughs> and we were lucky, and we're doing all right. And now you can't shut me up. <laughs> I belong to the Holocaust Center. I belong to the Dominion Institute with all the veterans. I go to the Simon Wiesenthal Center a lot. I go from school to school. But you are my prize and joy. You are university students. And you will remember and you will tell your children and your grandchildren, what hatred does. You have to stand against hatred, against bigotry. I'm leaving you a lot of homework. I'm not going anywhere yet. But I'm 75 in July, I'll be 76. <laughs> and I want to thank Pinchas. He was my, he's my inspiration too for coming again. He will tell you his story. And Carla that called me up on the telephone and said, we need you, <laughs> last year. 
And she called me again for this year, so you see, so it's... <laughs> and I can tell you that I'm honored to see all your faces. I shall try to remember all your faces. Maybe names, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm forgetting things, but I remember you forever. Because you have a very hard job to do. You, doesn't matter if you, if you pray in a mosque, in a synagogue, a church, you are our future. You have to make sure what happened to my people, to the Polish people, 